What is up guys, Fairly Gaming here, and today we are going to be showing you how to turn your old Xbox into a perfect emulator for all your old classic games that you absolutely love playing. Alrighty, so what we're going to be doing today is using RetroArch, and uh, RetroArch is pretty much just a, an emulator service that you are able to play old Nintendo, kind of NES, Nintendo 64, Pokemon, you know, the classics on a new gen device. And, uh, you know, it's super easy, and other methods will have you go through a, uh, like, a dev mode. This one is completely in retail mode. Retail mode meaning what you get straight from the store. You know, you could go pick up an Xbox and immediately do this without having to do anything crazy. And, uh, yeah, it's a very simple process, and we're just going to be trying to cover all of that today. Alrighty, so here we are on the old Xbox. For the first step, what are you going to want to go do? is uh, Microsoft Edge. Click on it. I've already got the pages loaded up, but what you're going to want to search is Gamer13 GitHub. This is uh, just the first step, whatever. It's totally safe. You click on the first link that pops up to GitHub pages. It should look like that. It'll tell you that you have to go through his Discord. Do it. It's totally fine. And, uh, you know, this is actually their new method, which is better and I believe a little bit safer. Alrighty, once you're in, you'll be introduced into the Xbox Emulation Hub. This is their Discord, and uh, yeah, you know, it's super easy. Here are all the emulators. Today we are going to be using RetroArch. There is also XBS X2, and I believe that's a PlayStation type. Flycast is for like the original uh, Dreamcast systems. Dolphin is the Wii one. But that one is just being a little weird. I don't know if they've got that fixed yet or not. And then PPSSPP is for like the PSP, PSP Vita, and like the smaller handheld Sony devices. So yeah, you know, first thing, click on this one. For me, it's RetroArch. Click it. The site is trying to open Microsoft Store. Click open. It'll take you to the store, but it's actually not the exact store. Um, right now I am installing it, so that's why it says installing viewing. View in queue. You click view, resume it. It's only 1.58 gigabytes, which is a relatively small-ish file. So, uh, yeah, we're going to let this download and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so RetroArch has finished installing, so we're just going to open it up right here. I absolutely love the logo and the purple color they went with it. Alrighty, and as you can see, everything looks and works totally fine. Now we just need to set it up. <clears throat> Alrighty, so now you want to go to online updater. Come on down to update core info files. Just click on it. Update your assets. Update your controller profiles. And that'll pretty much just make sure the Xbox is up like running at the optimal way that needs to be running for retro arc to kind of work i don't know i don't know how to explain it man it just works together you know Alrighty, then we'll go back go over to settings go all the way to the very bottom down here to directory Alrighty. Alrighty. so you want to come down here in the directory to configs way down here click on config and click use this directory all right and you're also going to want to do this with core info same thing very bottom this time come down to info use this directory and databases same thing all the way to the bottom and this time go to database use this directory and that should be everything to do with that and as you can already see everything's looking just a little bit different from directory we are just going to go over here uh in a normal version where you have a usb that you've kind of downloaded some roms onto and uh plugged into your thing you would normally click load core go down to your rom load it up load a game through that whatever uh but they do have some that are already standalone and already on here so to show you that, you come down here to standalone cores, click on it, go over whatever, and uh, all of these work. So here, quickly, we'll just test out 2048. You just click on it, and it loads up a new game right there. Start, okay. Down, 
over. I mean, like, it's it's working totally fine, you know? All right, let's get some of these. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, it works very well, so... I've got no complaints, and if you want to go back, all you have to do is exit back to your home screen, quit out of it, and uh, just boot it right back up. It takes literally no time at all, less than 30 seconds, and you're right back here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down below. If you like this video, leave a like, and if you really liked it, consider subscribing. I'm trying to get back up to 7,000 subscribers, so... It's a little bit of a goal right now, a little bit of a milestone, so to speak. Uh, if you guys want to see any other videos like this, please let me know, and I will try to do that. Uh, if you guys want to see any certain games played, let me know, and I'll try to figure out how to do that. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, until next time, bye.